Hey guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video, to a video that I've been trying to film for such a long time, but the weather has been hampering all of those plans. Today I'm back with Scout. I've been focusing on Blue, the Project 90 build for a little while, but I'm excited to get Scout back on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be looking at undersealing Scout. Now I know this is a bit of a weird time of the year to be doing it, as I should have really done this as winter prep, but I wasn't really driving Scout round much in the winter, but also the weather was so horrible that I couldn't really get a chance to underseal it correctly and do the best job that I wanted to do. But today, that's all changing, and today we're gonna to be undersealing Scout. A few years ago, I had Scout professionally undersealed, and the guys at LR Motors back then did the full treatment, removed all of the dust, the grime, all of the dirt, and took the chassis back, and then did a full underseal treatment, which has lasted up until this point, which was about two to three years ago but I'm now gonna have a go at undersealing the car myself. Undersealing can cost a lot of money to get it done professionally, so I'm gonna be really interested to see how a DIY version can compare to getting it professionally done, and that's what we're gonna look at doing today. I've bought a kit from the guys at Lanagard, which should give me not only the products, but also the applicators to do this at home, and I'll be really intrigued to see what kind of finish we can get and how durable it's going to be. With that, the first steps are to just give Scout a bit of a clean down, a bit of a wash, jet wash underneath, and then we'll leave it to dry. And then whilst that's drying, we can have a look at the products that we've got in the kit and then start to do this treatment. So let's jump right into it. So that's the chassis all jet washed down clean, removing all of that surface grime, that mud, and now we're gonna leave that to dry. I can apply the Lanagard when it's got a slight dampness to it because that will absorb the water, the Lanagard product will absorb the water, but it's best to let a lot of the surface water all drip off and dry before applying the product. Once that's also dried, I'm also gonna use uh, some attachments to my drill to remove some of the surface rust as well. So we'll have a nice clear base to then apply the Lanagard over the top. Right, so as I said, I'm gonna be using a product called Lanagard today, and I bought this kit online and I'll leave a link down below, but it should give me a whole suite of different applicators and products that I can apply that are gonna protect Scout chassis for a little while. I spoke to loads of people that had done DIY uh, undersealing treatments, and they'd all recommended the same product for its ease of use, ease of application, but also its durability. So I'm excited to give this a try. So we'll have a look at what we've got in the kit itself. So the first thing is the applicator bottle. We can pour the product into here and we can spray large surface areas really quickly and really easily with this applicator. And with that, we've also got some other attachments for it too. The first is just this longer hose, which means that we can get to further to reach areas uh, really easily. And then the second thing is this 360 pipe, which we can attach to the spray applicator. And this pipe has little holes in across the top and we can push that through to areas of the chassis. And when we spray it in, it will get more coverage. It'll get kind of 360 coverage of the inside of the chassis and any other hard to reach areas, which again, will make it super easy to apply. Then we've got the products themselves. The first product is this motor grease. So this is for those areas that are really prone to rusting nuts, bolts, weld seams, and you can brush this on uh, it's effectively like a paste, like a grease, uh, and this will ensure that the areas that are really prone to rust are really well covered. And then the second product we have is the motor spray. So this is what we'll pour into the applicator bottle and will allow us to cover large surface areas really quickly and really easily. So before we get applying this, I'm just gonna warm them up, put them in some warm water so they're nice and fluid, so they'll apply really nicely to the car. And whilst they're warming up, I can start to remove some of the surface rust from the chassis so that we can then spray directly onto the car. So with that, let's get going. All right, so I've got the products in warm water there, so they're loosening up and there'll be a nice liquid to be able to apply and the car is just drying off but i can show you just the state of the underneath if i zoom out a little bit maybe so you can see here you can see some of the old um under seal but it's all flaking off it's not looking too great and um, there's not lots of surface rust there's little bits down here but not loads um, i'm still going to get the wire wheels on them to remove it um there's some other areas that are worse Kind of further down which i'll show you in a second but in general it's not horrific um but it'll be really good to tidy it up to protect it for even longer so coming down underneath the chassis rails you can see a lot of the original under seal still kept it pretty protected it's still obviously wet at the moment and drying off there's not lots of surface rust again but it'd be cool to inject loads of the fluid inside these holes to really protect it um and yeah again 
There's some definite areas where I can remove some of the surface rust um, and prep this really for the full treatment. As a comparison, just to look at underneath blue, you can see lots more surface rust. I don't know whether this has ever been undersealed, but you can see that um, the comparison, I guess, between when it has been undersealed and when it hasn't. But you can see underneath scalp, there's still lots of surface rust, but no way near as bad. But we're excited to get the wire wheel on, clean some of these up, parts up, and then we can start to apply the uh, fluid. So that's scalp now, jet washed down, everything has been left to dry, so we've not got any surface water. And now we can start to get to the messy bit, hence the overalls, where we can remove the surface rust with some wire brushes attached to a drill bit, scrub all of the chassis, scrub the loose uh, surface rust away, ready to then apply the lanagard over the top. This is what I'm gonna use to remove a lot of the surface rust. It's just a wire brush attachment to the end of my drill. And then we can apply the lanagard to a nice surface over the top. So I've been under the car for a little while now using the drill bit to remove a lot of the surface rust and I think we're almost there. If you're going to do the same I'd definitely advise goggles and also mask. So much rubbish flies out uh, when you're doing this job and especially when you're lying underneath it can just naturally just fall in your eyes so definitely recommend some safety wear. Um, next things to do just finish off this last little bit of uh, surface rust rubbing down and then we can move on to the motor grease which is that thick grease that we can apply to the areas which are most prone to rusting. Slap that on and then we're ready to do the motor spray over the top. So you can see underneath here, there's quite a bit of surface rust. The wire wheel take, does a good job of flicking off a lot of the flaky stuff. Um, but this is now starting to prep this ready to apply the treatment over the top. You can see kind of all under here, just taking off the flakiness um, so that we've got a good surface to then attach the lanagard to. Now I've wire wheeled all of the chassis, you can see a lot of the surface rust has gone. These are the holes that I'm going to be using that injector spray. So I'm going to be able to get loads of access and pump loads of Lanagard into the chassis itself. But you can see here, generally the chassis is not too bad, having had a bit of a scrub down. It's probably a bit up there I need to do still. Um, but in general, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I'm excited to get the Lanagard on now. Give it a fresh coat and know that this is protected for a lot longer. All right, so I've left this motor grease in warm water for a while, just so it's nice and fluid so we can paint it on. If we, well, smells a bit sheepy, so we can crack the surface. And there we've got that fluid, that grease that we can paint onto the, the most prone to rusting areas. So underneath you can see where I've been applying the motor grease. It's got this like yellowy tinge to it, but I'll obviously put the motor spray over the top, which will darken that. But you can see, just putting it into the worst affected areas, the cross member, the rear cross member is pretty bad. So I've just been pasting it on. And the same over this side too, pasting it onto the worst affected areas. Um, and then once, once we've got that on, we've let, dried that for a little bit, we'll then put the motor spray over the top. So now that that grease is applied, we can now move on to the motor spray and applying that. And then we can just drop this into the bottle. And then we can spray directly from the bottle onto the chassis. Cool. We're ready to start spraying. just poured some of the liquid into the applicator bottle too. This means I can just get into some other of the areas. And once I've got a lot of the surface, the large surface area done, I can then attach the nozzle that's got the 360 wand on it to inject into 
the chassis, into the chassis rails itself to get inside the uh, areas that obviously I can't get to with the spray bottle. subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm posting loads of videos on both Scout and Project 90, the developments on both of those Defender projects. So please drop a subscribe to follow the journey for both channels. It really helps me out. And yeah, I'm excited to share loads more videos with you coming soon. So now I've got the 361 detached. This just screws onto the applicator bottle and then at the top we've got this jet which goes 360 so what we can effectively do is this is hard to do one-handed but push this nozzle into one of the holes in the chassis and push it all the way in and then we can just pump and then i don't know whether you can hear but that that is pumping lanagard inside the chassis and we can go along you can see it dripping out at the bottom there and we can go along all of those holes in the cross member but also across the chassis too so that we make sure we're covering everything from the inside out so that's the motor spray applied to all of the large surface areas underneath the car it went on really easily um, i smell a little bit sheepy now but it's nowhere near as bad as people described online the next steps are to leave that to cure for a little while i'll leave it around one to two days and then i'll check back with you uh, to show you what the treatment looks like once it's cured once it's kind of bedded in and um, we can have a look at the final finish but before i do that i'll just give you a quick tour of what it's looking like so far and a bit of the transformation that's happened before i've let it cure so coming under the car, obviously it's still very much damp to the touch at the moment. The drip marks you can see are where I've pushed the magic wand into the chassis so that you can get that 360 coverage inside. But in general, it's gone on really easily and it looks a lot better anyway. And hopefully it's much more durable and protected from the uh, elements. So it's been a few days now and I've left it to cure. But how good does that finish now look? Totally protected, giving Scout a fresh look underneath. And yeah, it's gone on so well and now it's dried off. I can't go jet washing it for about four weeks or so to really let it cure and bake. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that final finish. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it weathers over time. But I'll be sure to document the process and keep you guys updated with how good the treatment has been. But in general, I'm really happy with how easy it went on. And for a DIY job, I'm really happy with the uh, results. So there you have it guys, that is a DIY under sealing treatment for your Land Rover Defender. I would definitely recommend checking out the Lanagard products. That went on so much easier than I expected and I'm really happy with the results. And I'll check back in a couple of months time to show you kind of how durable it is and what the treatment's looking like after a bit of wear. If you're interested in the products that I've used in this video, I'll leave a link down below where the guys at Lanagard are offering you money off your first purchase. So go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, as always, like, subscribe to follow the journey and I'll be back next week with another video on either Scout or the Project 90 build. So I'll see you then.